Austin police investigating after a man crashed into three cars in the parking lot of a shell station at I-35 in Runberg. A nearby officer responded. According to APD, a man drove right at him twice. That's when the officer opened fire. After a short chase, the officer grabbed the man when he crashed near the intersection of Lamar and Runberg. Omar Lewis joining us from there with the latest. Omar? Well, Dave, as you mentioned, there are actually two separate crime scenes going on, and investigators are still combing through evidence at both locations. Police say this is where that whole ordeal came to an end, though, when that suspect fled from police and crashed his truck here into this gas station sign. APD says they got an urgent crash call around 1.40 this afternoon from a shell gas station at the intersection of Runberg and I-35. An officer was nearby and showed up to that scene in minutes, and that's when APD says the officer told told the suspect to get out of his truck, but instead they say the suspect drove towards the officer twice. The officer was able to get out of the way as he was doing so. Chief Acevedo said he fired several rounds hitting the suspect's truck. However, the suspect was still able to get away in the process of leaving that gas station. Police say the suspect hit a total of three cars and fled down Runberg towards Lamar and hit a fourth car on his way before crashing into this sign. Chief Acevedo tells us he's glad no one was hurt and the officer used proper judgment. Family members of the suspect tells us he was only 23 years old and brought this truck just two weeks ago. Think about that, you know, uh, a guy sitting there hitting cars, uh, then he tries to run over you twice and you still have a presence of mind even after being involved in officer involved shooting to jump in your police car, give chase and ultimately take the suspect into custody. He's taking bad decisions and I mean, we found out because my husband drove by and uh, he saw the truck and we freaked out. And police tell us the suspect was intoxicated throughout this entire ordeal. He is now facing at least 10 different charges, including assault on a peace officer as well as evading. Now, the officer involved in this shooting was placed on an administrative leave, which we are told is standard protocol. However, we have not found out the names of that police officer or the suspect at this time. But for now, we're live in North Austin. Omar Lewis, KXAN News. We know APD has been scrutinized for a number of officer-involved shootings over the last few years. In 2011, the Justice Department came up with 160 recommendations, most which place have APD putting them in place. Those recommendations including reform to the department's use of force and better investigation of citizen complaints. Just this last September, the Justice Department said it would not conduct a second federal review of APD policies.